Howdy team, welcome back to a new video. Now today, um, talking about the coronavirus and how it's affected myself um, and the country. So if you're new to the channel, um, my name's Dylan, I'm 22 years old and I love fishing. But, there's one problem at the moment, I can't go fishing. And uh, that's because of the COVID-19 virus. Now, to me, Fishing isn't everything. Maybe what I post on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube all the time, um, but it's not. I do like other things and I like doing other activities. But fishing is my main hobby. Um, I've found the past few days, past few weeks, um, quite tricky because I also deal with depression and stuff like that with fishing um, as I like to get out and clear my head and have a bit of fun. And also here in New Zealand we're not allowed to go hunting, um, do sports sort of thing, um, and the whole country is on level 4 lockdown and it's classed as a pandemic. Currently I think we are week 3 into this lockdown um, and it's been pretty tough. I've done my room, I've luxed, I've gone through my drawers, gone through footage, I've done everything um, and I thought hey why not make a video about how it's affected me and what I can't do and what I can do to try overcome this stuff. Now, rule number one, stay home. Activities, you're allowed to go walking. So, I mean, exercise is always good and the government has been pretty good with that, like, except for the health minister here in Dunedin. New Zealand's health minister has been demoted after admitting he breached a nationwide lockdown by driving 20 kilometres to the beach. Live now to New Zealand correspondent Jackson Williams for more. Jackson, David Clark admits he's been an idiot. Yeah, exactly right. To say the least, he says his judgment uh, was very poor. At the same time, the health minister was telling New Zealanders to stay at home, to make huge sacrifices. He was personally uh, breaching lockdown restrictions, admitting to the Prime Minister in a phone call last night that on the first weekend of the lockdown, he drove 20 kilometres to the beach with his family from his Dunedin home. Now, the health minister was already in hot water. Last week, he was caught mountain bike riding during the lockdown. He was caught... Uh, after uh, his van, which has his face and name plastered on the side, uh, was spotted in a car park near a trail. Last night, he offered his resignation to Prime Minister Ardern. She rejected it. She said in ordinary circumstances, he would be sacked. But these are no ordinary times and sacking him would cause uh, too much disruption at the moment. Nonetheless, she says he still needs to pay the price for his actions for, for breaking uh, the rules. And as a consequence, he has been stripped of his associate finance portfolio and also demoted to the bottom of cabinet rankings. David Clark says uh, he simply has no excuses for his actions. But yeah, he's a bit of an idiot. We won't go there. But yeah, go for walks. Um, just stay away from people. If you feel like you're sick, stay home. Um, I've got a bit of a chest infection at the moment, so I'm staying home. I'm isolating myself. I went for a walk yesterday. Um, but... Yeah, I've chose to stay home for the rest of the lockdown just because I've got a bit of a cough. And I don't want to take that chance with my immune system being low to being prone to catching it. It's a good time to do stuff around home. So, you know, yeah, do go through your drawers, get better at cooking. Um, I, for one, actually have been enjoying cooking some meals and stuff like that. Like last night, I cooked some macaroni and cheese and I was pretty happy about myself because I'm not a demon in the kitchen unfortunately I know how to cook but not too well um, but yeah it's been a lot of things that I've actually been able to get done like I changed my room around and everything so I'm pretty happy with that and I've also learnt how to tie flies so hopefully in the future I've got a video where I tie a fly and I go out and catch a fish on it so fingers crossed I also have um, a few questions on my phone that I asked a few people to see what they thought. Um, so basically, put out on Instagram, see if anybody had a few questions they wanted me to ask, and I'm going to ask them now. So, we're going to start with Logan Johnson963. He says, And you're my favourite YouTuber by far. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Logan. That is much appreciated. 
I've also got another question here from Logan. He says, what made you get into making fishing videos? That is a really good question. Um, basically what made me get into making fishing videos is I liked going out fishing at a young age, but didn't really have anything to record. Like, I used to go to school and tell my mates, hey look, I caught this massive trout on the weekend, um, but I didn't get any photos, and they'd be like, oh, whatever, it's just another yarn. So that's why I went, I'm going to get one up here, and I started recording on a GoPro and stuff like that. Through over the years, I've started making better videos and doing collabs, and I've also got a few sponsors now, so plug out, I'll put a plug um, out to my sponsors who are absolutely awesome. Um, I've got Daiwa New Zealand, Berkeley New Zealand, Tonic Eyewear, Eye Waders, and I think that's it. Shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, Joel Smith. If you had to recommend any five lures to target trout, what would they be? Any brands. Um, at a young age, I started fishing with like Tasmanian Devils, and they were always good for me. Um, my favourite colour was a black and gold Tasmanian Devil. Sorry, I got an itchy nose. Tasmanian Devil, black and gold, number one. Number two would be so soft bait. Um, actually, number one would probably be soft bait, to be honest, because that's all I really use. Number two would be Tasmanian Devil. Number three, probably a Rapala or a hard body lure. Um, number four, a classic black and gold Toby. And number five, um, shit, a spinner. Probably a spinner. Can't go wrong with a spinner. Spinners always work well. We've got a question from Aspen Haitana. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, he said, what's your go-to lure for the river? Black and gold soft bait, mate. On a um, Berkeley jig head. Got a question from Chris Dalzil. I don't know. I'm sorry if I pronounced that one wrong as well. He said, black and gold or green and gold Toby? I think that answers itself, but I'm going to say black and gold every day of the week. You cannot go wrong with a black and gold Toby, mate. We've got a question from Mitch Emerson, 27. Most peaceful place to fish by yourself? Um, I don't know. Good question, actually. Local river, actually, that no one really fishes. It's really nice up there. Cicadas. Um, there's lots of good fish up there, and it's, it's really nice up there. It's always sunny, so probably my favourite, up the gorge. Got a question from NZ under slash fish under slash hunt under slash adventures. What's the best coloured soft plastic for brown trout? I'd probably go either with a banana prawn, Berkeley gulp. Caught a lot of brown trout on those. Or your simple paddle tail soft baits from Berkeley. Um, the olive pearl ones are really good and so are the black and gold ones. Got a question from Zach Griffith. I think I pronounced that. Biggest fish in the trusty old black and gold paddle tail. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Be mid twenties, I'd imagine. I think. I don't think of. Oh no, it's actually that one on my wall. That one right there. That's the first proper big brown I caught on my um, black and gold paddle tail, which that's thirty pounds. So we've got a question here from Dean Cottrell. What lures slash soft baits do you use at night on rivers? Lures. Either like a dark black hard body lure or um, a dark black soft bait or a mouse lure. Got a question from Lockie Meadows here. I know Lockie's quite a good fan of mine, so shout out to Lockie. You've been a good supporter of the channel, so thank you. Um, and he said, favourite lure for salmon in the canals at, at what time? Probably Diver Chunuk. Diver Chunuk in any range. I prefer the green um, and pink works really well. But also, pink paddle tail soft baits work good too. Got a question from Dylan Stone. Who was the one inspired you to be the person you are today? That's actually, oh, I'll let, that's a nice question, mate. Because I'm guessing you're saying that I'm a nice person. So, I'm going to take that the good way. Um, <clears throat> probably, I don't know. When I was younger at high school, I was actually a bit of a dick. So, if anybody from high school is watching this, I'm sorry for being an arsehole. But the person I am today... Um, <clears throat> probably, probably all my friends to be honest, um, and family, and my dad, 
um, especially my mum. They always taught me treat people how you want to be treated, um, and you know always be nice to people because some people are always having a hard time. So I'd say my family for number one for sure. How slip Jackson outdoors? What got you into fly fishing? A Jeff Thomas video. If anybody remembers outdoors with Jeff, this guy. Oh, nice. Yeah, this boy can shoot. Haha, <laughs> we got one! What a fantastic place. So that's Outdoors with Jeff. Who, he's probably the one that got me into fly fishing. I used to see all his videos and collect them and all stuff like that. Watch him as a little kid. So, probably him, to be fair. We've got a question from Lockie B 26 Most reliable brands for fly fishing? Like Tippet, Line... Real rod. Tip it, I'd probably go with Rio. Rio's pretty good. I have had a few products of theirs pretty shit, but they've definitely stepped their game up. Line, Airflow. Airflow line's good. Reels. I've got a Sage Reel, and it's brilliant. Like, it is excellent. But other than that, I could, I, I definitely recommend Lampson. The Lampson Liquid Reel is pretty good for price. They're a good starting reel, and then rods i'd definitely go airflow as well um if you wanted to start fly fishing and stuff like that so yeah uh, that's my answer for that one got a question from elliot budge favorite way to fish spin or fly fish you can't beat fly fishing if you sight fishing them um on little nymphs and little dries that's pretty cool but i love um soft baiting because the takes are always awesome and I like using hard body lures, so like the Berkeley ones and stuff like that. So, I don't even know what to say there. Caught a lot of fish on my spinning rod over over the decade. So, and I started that way, so I'm going to have to respect the spinners. So, spin fishing it is. I'm sorry fly fishing bums, but don't hate me. Don't hate, just appreciate. And we've got one more question from Sid Spence. What are your favourite all-round soft baits? I'm gonna go number. Five, I'm gonna go top five. Number five. I'm gonna have to say probably the Berkeley Gulp Smelt. They are super deadly um, on sea run trout. Number four, probably Berkeley Gulp Banana Prawn. Caught a lot of big browns and good trout on those over the years. Number three. Um, Probably, oh, the Berkeley Powerbait Paddle Tail and Bronze Pearl. That one there, number two, Berkeley Powerbait Paddle Tail Smelt. And then number one, the Black and Gold Paddle Tail. So, yeah, that's my top five selection of, um, of soft baits for that. So, I really appreciate everyone tuning into this video. Um, I was going to try to get a bit of a podcast thing going with someone, but he hasn't really replied, stuff like that. If it does happen, it'll be at the end of this video. But if not, I really appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate all the support um, for my channel recently. I've had a lot of viewers, I've had a lot of comments, a lot of positive ones, and not so many negative ones. So, if you want to drop a comment and tell me what you want to see in the near future on the channel, I'd much appreciate it. But until then, I hope everyone in the country stays safe during this pandemic. Um, I love all you guys that support me, and I would love to meet you all one day. But once this lockdown stuff's over, I'm going to get back into doing what I love, and hopefully what you love too. So, stay safe everyone, remember to like, subscribe, and yeah, I think that's about it. Yo!